Cole of New Zealand in lane three, Alexandra Furster of Germany in lane four, Aurelia Maxima, Katharina Janssen of Switzerland in lane five. La deuxième élimination de trois, on a les femmes skiff, moins de 23. Euh, dans, dans le couloir numéro un, on a l'Afrique du Sud. Dans le couloir numéro deux, Paraguay. Dans le couloir numéro trois, la Nouvelle-Zélande. Dans le couloir numéro quatre, l'Allemagne. Dans le couloir numéro cinq, la Suisse. A couple of very familiar names in this lineup: Andrea Foster of Germany, Janssen of Switzerland. I think this is where the battle could be for first and second. Yes, I just enjoyed watching these two phenomenal athletes duke it out on the world stage in Paris while barely a breath and they're back onto the water again here going stroke for stroke as they've been trading the leading positions right now with Alexandra Fusta from Germany running first. What I loved most about her race, uh, Susan, was that she had a big smile at the beginning and the <laughs> ends of both of her races. Uh, do you think we're going to see a smile on her face at the end of this one? <laughs> Not with these conditions, I don't think. Nice flat water, maybe. <laughs> I love racing in uh, technically challenging conditions like these because not only is there an opportunity for fast times and we've seen some uh, some best times already fall but it also means that you don't have to be stronger than everyone else you just have to be more technically proficient you have to be a little bit smarter about how you conserve your energy and how you go about the race sure. I love rowing because of the technicalities I think when people see people row they have no idea the multi 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 things to think about and do and to train for. It's a fascinating scientific sport. Right, you are. And if I can tell a very brief story here before we get into the red buoys, I once asked uh, Julien Behain, a, a famous uh, French and Canadian rower whose wife is actually coaching the Canadian team once, if he could tell me how to rig a boat. And three hours later, he was still explaining it to me, all the different ways you can organize it. So. Um, let's take a look here. Well, it continues to be Alexandra first uh, running first, but again, one and two through to semifinal A, B. No surprise that it is a Swiss athlete, Aurelia Maxima Katarina Janssen, running second. Uh, Republic of South Africa, and uh, just a little bit too far off. I imagine this would be an exciting lineup, though, to see when you're these athletes look at the draws and see who they're lined up against to be able to start next to an Olympic athlete, a freshly minted Olympic athlete, must be an incredible honor. We're coming into the closing stages here and in the grandstands. Please cheer them in. You get to see Olympic caliber racing right here at home in Canada. It continues to be Germany in the lead here. The Swiss athlete right on her tail, both just tacking it in at about 31 strokes per minute. Germany up now at a 37. She found another gear. Alexandra Furst uh, will claim the first place full position, and it will be the Swiss cowbells ringing Alexandra or uh, Rex Aurelia Maxima Katarina Janssen into second. Alors félicitations à uh, 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 Alexandra Forster de l'Allemagne qui a gagné cette uh, deuxième éliminatoire pour les skis femmes à moins 23 ans et aussi à uh, Catherine Aurelia Maxima de la Suisse qui va aussi uh, uh, avec uh, Alexandra au semi-final. Uh, nous attendons maintenant, oh non, excusez-moi, en troisième place, nous avons l'Afrique du Sud, quatrième, le, le Paraguay, et uh, cinquième, la Nouvelle-Zélande. And ladies, ladies and gentlemen of the grandstands, on your feet, and one more cheer here for Alexandra Furster, whether she knows it or not, she has set a new World's Championships best time. She'll be wondering what that was for her, and I can't wait for her to find out when she gets off the water. Previous time was 7.24.89. This was 7.19.52. Olympic caliber racing. Interesting.